It's the ultimate fighting machine. The iron fist of infantry warfare. Always first to face the enemy fire. Built to take ground by force. The tank is tough, armed, and designed to kill. Tanks are mobile fighting machines. Tracked vehicles that carry lethal guns to the battlefront. Since the early days, the tank has become a much more sophisticated machine, but it still has the same priorities, survivability, mobility, and killing power. The armor on a tank has to provide protection for the vehicle and its crew, but if it carries too much armor, it can't move fast enough. The challenge is to gain maximum protection with minimum weight. For the M1A2, the armor is cut from steel plate, in places, protection is up to a foot thick. The total weight of this armored plate accounts for half the weight of the fully laden tank. Each tank is held together by one and a half miles of welding. The welds alone weigh over half a ton. Today, over 100 nations use tanks as part of their fighting force. It's estimated that there are 40,000 tanks standing by, ready for action around the world. This is the German Leopard II, the oldest of the modern generation tanks, but one of the most commercially successful. It's a very heavy tank, protected by masses of armor. It's capable of being completely submerged. And on rough ground, the Leopard is surprisingly maneuverable. This is the French Leclerc. It's a much lighter tank with exceptional agility, powerful acceleration, and a top speed of 45 miles per hour. It has an auto loader, which means it only needs a three-man crew. It also has the longest gun of any main battle tank. This is the Russian T-90, an updated version of the T-72 that the Allied coalition fought in the Gulf War. The new tank has a low profile and is much simpler to operate. Armies are continually updating their tanks, so there's plenty of army surplus. The best way to kill a tank is to use another tank. Tanks fire two types of ammunition. First, the discarding Sabo round, which uses kinetic energy to pierce the armor of an enemy tank with sheer brute force. As the shell leaves the gun barrel, the sides drop away, leaving a rocket-shaped projectile, which can travel at more than a mile a second. The second type is a shell which explodes on impact and simply rips the tank apart.
Another effective way to attack a tank is to destroy it with a missile. The great advantage of a missile is that it can be steered. It can also carry a massive warhead. Firing a missile is relatively easy, but guiding it to its target is something else. A wire-guided missile is literally connected to the firing post by a thin wire. The operator sends signals down the wire to steer it and make sure it hits the target first time. The Milan is the British Army's medium-range, wire-guided anti-tank weapon. It can travel more than a mile in 12.5 seconds. Loading! Loading! The American tow missile has a longer range of over two miles. Its warhead can smash through 32 inches of armor. Tanks are designed to confront the enemy head-on, so their heaviest armor is at the front. The Gatling gun of the A-10 is capable of 4,000 rounds a minute. It fires armor-piercing bullets with a core of depleted uranium, which increases the force on impact. More recently, the F-16 fighter plane has taken on the role of tank buster. It is much more maneuverable and can get away to safety faster. Another five seconds and then it hasn't break to the right. Okay. Go to five. Under that. The lighters say estimate. Uh, Chair Quebec, about three. But in the last 15 years, the fixed-wing airplane has been pushed aside by the combat helicopter. Today, the chopper is the deadliest foe of the tank. The mast-mounted sight attached above the Tiger helicopter's main rotor transmits a digital picture to the pilot. He needs only to rise above his cover a short distance to launch a missile. Armed with Hellfire missiles, the Apache is America's main tank. very latest smart missiles can make their own decisions. Using onboard radar, they can identify specific targets, track them, and then destroy them. Now there is no hiding place for even the most sophisticated tank. Despite the risks which menace the tank, no other weapon system has yet replaced them as the leading force on the battlefield. The U.S. Army has 8,000 tanks standing by ready for action, a formidable fighting force.